Here we go. All right, today we got a LPRV, a liquid pressure regulator valve we need to change. We got this rack right here, little Hussman and Telepack, rack B. Uh, the other day we got this valve over here, your LPRV, liquid pressure regulator valve, leaking down here at the seal. Um, so we got this new valve. All we're gonna do is change the guts on this one. So depending on the valve style and kind of the placement will depend or will dictate whether or not I change the whole valve or I change just the guts. This one, because number one, it's just a steel body. Number two, it's on a liquid line that's not gonna sweat. I'm just gonna change the guts. I'm gonna get these four bolts off, pull that one off, same thing here, pull that one off and then just replace this where that one goes but leaving this valve body there right um if it's an epr if it's an epr and it's on a steel body and we can get a sport too that's on a brass body then we'll replace the whole thing because those steel bodies will um uh rust over time but like i said since this it only comes in a steel body and it's on a liquid line it's not going to sweat it's not going to be an issue so what we're going to do here we have this liquid line and thankfully we got our drop legs coming in we got ball valve ball valve ball valve so all we're going to do is ball valve these two off let it pump down a little bit ball valve that one off take the pressure out of this line and then just pop that one off pop that one on the biggest thing will just be setting you have to remember to set this stem or this stem at the same height as this one because this is essentially think of this like a hold back valve right so this is a low ambient control where as your ambient pressure drops this is going to try to build or maintain head pressure on your condenser so if this is set wrong um you're not going to do a good job at that so it's going to be super easy we got one two three four valves to shut off the biggest thing you have to do on these two or not the biggest thing but something you got to remember you want to put a high side gauge over here and you want to monitor your head pressure while you're doing this make sure that head pressure is not climbing up too high but other than that this thing's going to be pretty easy change out so let's get to it all right grab that high side gauge ah and we're just going to put it on either one of these. It doesn't really matter because they're both going to the same thing. Right now we're using full condenser since we're in summer. So both of these drop legs are going to be active. All right, now all we're going to do, close this. So I say. Boom. And all we're doing is just letting it pump down a little bit just to get the liquid out of this line. Boom. And again, you want to watch that high side pressure. It's pretty early in the morning. The sun's not even up yet. So I don't expect that pressure to get too high, but you just want to watch that high side pressure a little bit. Make sure you're not, because we're stacking everything in the condensers. So we want to watch that to make sure we're not getting too high. A uh, little service wrench. And this is your bleed line. We're closing this off. This is the bleed line for that winter condenser. about right you can see to tighten that packing up a little bit more than likely oh yeah, oh, 
yeah, nice and tight. All right, so we more than likely, let's see. Like I said, we're just trying to get the liquid out, trying to pump it down to vapor. Let's see what we got. Still a little bit of liquid in there. So we'll let it keep pumping down. Um, while we're waiting on this to pump down, we'll start prepping this valve. So we'll take this valve body off. Now, there's gaskets and O-rings inside of these that you have to be very careful with. If you rip those or damage those when you're just changing the guts, you're pretty much screwed. Hey, kill the, kill the rack. So that's what you're watching out for right there. So right now we're gonna kill the compressors so that way we stop going up. And now I'm gonna come over and close this one off. Harry, you wanna start taking this one off? You want to be real careful when you're pulling all that apart not to rip any of those gaskets or o-rings all right so we got our plunger with our diaphragm right there this is that diaphragm that it pushes on right there and then this is going to come out no nope, leave that we got to take this bottom piece off too the whole thing. There you go. And these are those gaskets you got to be very careful with. Unless you have a spare set, which most people don't, those gaskets and that O-ring, that O-ring sometimes will get caught when you're trying to put it back in. So you just got to be very careful not to rip any of those. All right, we got the pressure out of these lines right here. So we're gonna go ahead and start taking apart this old valve. And you can see how these work. So the way that these valves work is you got your stem right here, right? And it's just a spring you adjust that stem, that stem pushes on this plate, which then pushes this diaphragm. Oh, we're missing a piece. Pushes this diaphragm right here, which opens and closes that port. So, pretty simple. But, let's get this whole one off, and we'll get it set. Something I do personally, just as a personal preference, is I always use nylog to go ahead and lubricate all of these gaskets, all these O-rings. I always come in, I put a little layer of nylog on pretty much everything, uh, just to make sure everything seals correctly. It's like lubricating your gaskets and O-rings. So like I said, just personal preference was something I always tend to do. You're just getting this one tore apart the rest of the way. Come on, baby, almost there. Now these old ones, a lot of the times, they're gonna be sticky. So it's gonna take a little persuasion to get them off. There we go. One more piece.
Come on, buddy, you can do it. Look at that. Man, that don't look good. Now we just gotta get this old gasket off, make sure this surface is all clean all the way around, and then we'll put the new one back on. All right, we got that thing all cleaned off. Just getting all the debris out of the way. Start putting this thing back together. Just be careful of that gasket at the bottom. Make sure it doesn't get pinched. Should rotate, yeah, that hole goes in the hole. You'll feel, you'll feel that thing click down in there. So this right here, this is just a body. It's just a steel body with a little passageway in it for the refrigerant. So that's why we're not changing it because that one that's on there is still good. And then when you're tightening this stuff, you wanna do, you know, like a star pattern. So one and then the other. You want to make sure they're all snug and tighten them evenly. That way you squish all of these gaskets and all the O-rings down at the same rate. That way you're not pushing out one side or another. And with these, you don't want to kill it. You want to get these snug, tight enough to not leak. But if you over tighten them, you'll end up breaking this flange. And then you'll show up with a rack that's flat on gas. So make sure we're not over tightening these unless you want on call to be really mad at you. All right, so we got this all tightened up. Last thing we gotta do is we'll purge this through right here. So I'm gonna crack these two drop legs, let that pressure flow and flow through here. I'll crack this one, push all that pressure out on that side, get a good purge on this, and then we'll start it up. We'll seat this back down so that way that nut's good. And then um, that'll be it. We'll go ahead and fire this thing back up. All right, we got it all purged out. We got a little bit of pressure on there. Just going through leak check and make sure we don't have any leaks on anything. I'm gonna put a little bit more pressure on it. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy. All right, we're looking pretty good. I'm not seeing anything on this side. Good or no? Looks good. I don't think that's good. All right. Let's open her up. You want to backseat this while I turn those compressors on? Sure. Why not? Sweet. That's a good sign. Man, if it ain't one thing, it's another, huh? We'll have to replace that too, I guess. Man, <laughs> there's always something leaking. Hey, that's supermarket refrigeration for you right there where there's not one leak, there's another. Last thing I do, come back over, turn on all these compressors. Oh, we got high discharge alarms on these. We're running. So that's pretty much it. That's how we change out these uh, 
LPRVs. It's a pretty simple process. So that's all I got for today. Um, again, appreciate everybody watching, everybody for the support. Do me a favor, like, subscribe, share. You know the drill. And uh, yeah, appreciate it. Later.